So what I'm going to do is something I saw on YouTube, uh, and I'll remember the guy's channel so I can give him credit in another part of this video, but AC in my new camper, it's a Dometic, and this thing is loud. Uh, when you're watching TV, you have to crank it way up, and even still, sometimes it's just, it's hard to hear what's going on, so you really have to crank it up and use the, uh, the speakers that are that are hooked to it as well to hear it right now it's not on okay i turned it down just a little bit hoping that it would kick on i'll turn it down a little more and that way you can kind of hear on the video there's the fan okay. so the fan is kicked on all right press be kicked on so that's what I'm dealing with. There goes the compressor. So, that's what I'm dealing with. Cool's pretty good, not great. Uh, when we first got here, it took quite a while to get the camera cooled down. So, I'm looking at a solution, and I'll, I'll show you a little more about that in just a second. All right, so as you can see, I took the, uh, the two covers off, the, the vent cover and uh, the kind of flow cover thing there. Um, and by the way, the uh, the Salty Escape is the name of the YouTube channel of the guy that that showed this, and I'll try to put a link to it. So that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm going off of. But as you can see, so if you look up in there, there's really not like there's this little bit of uh, of sealant tape in there, and and that's really it. I I don't even. I don't even know why, and I'm not sure how well you can see that. I don't know why they even uh, put that in there. Um, but it's not, you can see all the way around the the edge there, it's, it's not sealed or, or insulated at all. Okay, and then there's just a little bit around, you can see around the edges of, of the intake there in the, the vents, because it's vented through other places. So, uh, so the guy that posted the video said that he got a dramatic increase in the ability to, to cool down the entire trailer through the other ducts and everything. And, um, what he did was what I'm about to do, which is take some of this, uh, sealant insulating tape and put it around the whole thing. And then this is a big big roll because this is all I could get at Lowe's but uh take some of this reflectix okay and line the inside of that so that's what I'm gonna work on I'm hoping that it works he said he got the dramatic increase in cooling the down cooling the whole trailer down and then he also uh he said the sound was a few decibels lower but he said the pitch was what made the big difference and you could then watch the tv without having to crank it up when it came on so that's what I'm hoping for so, let's go. All right, y'all. So I've got, I've got it all taken down. I've just got the uh, AC unit kind of hanging there. I had this, um, this foamish stuff here was kind of separating the two spaces uh, in there, the return and the uh, delivery portion. So I'll have to touch that up, but it's, it's just cheap crap stuff. So that's not really going to be a problem. I'll actually make make it better seal it off a little better um but as you can see there's no they've got a little bit of tape around those edges but that's it so first i'm gonna take this tape and wrap it like i said i'll show you that once i'm done and then um and then the uh reflectix then i'll put that on so Pretty easy to get down the bolts. It would have been better if I would have used an attachment in my drill, but eh, need to work out.
All right, y'all. This is uh, this is what it looks like after. So I'm going around. I even found some gaps that I was able to cover, but that's that's the after. It wasn't very hard. Um, just cutting and that tape tends to want to roll up so I was sticking part of it to my jeans while I rolled it out but uh honestly pretty easy just moving wires out of the way real easy So putting up the Reflectix stuff is a little more meticulous. So I just did a, a quick uh, time lapse on that, but just kind of cutting, you know, cutting a roll of this stuff, being flexible and all is, is not the easiest to, to measure and cut. Um, and then getting it up there, getting it taped in, making sure it fits, trying to get off everything covered. So I'm hoping this works because it's getting pretty warm in here. All right, y'all. That's what it looks like with the Reflectix. And as you can see, I just went in, placed it, and then I went back and put tape, sealed up the gaps, um, sealed everything up nice and tight, tried to make a nice, efficient airflow in there, insulated airflow. So I'm going to... I'm going to actually, this piece right here separates um, the return and vent side. So I'm going to put some Reflectix on there and play with that a little bit, get it mounted back up, and we'll see, see how she does. All right, so I've got it running. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the uh, video or not as much, but it definitely seems a little more low pitched, a little quieter. There's there's definitely a difference. I don't know how much, um, but I'll have to test it uh, with the, the TV here shortly, and that'll give me kind of a good idea because I know what volumes I need to be at with it on and with it off right now. But it definitely seems like it's going to make a difference. Uh, I'm going to let it run for a little bit and uh, cool this place back down. I was getting pretty warm working on this, um, but we'll see. We'll see how it does, see if it's noticeably different and faster as far as cooling it down. Uh, I think it will be, but so far, I'm, so far I'm happy with the effort that I just put in. So it's been running about 10 minutes or so now. It actually shut off at the temperature that I had it set, it set at. And so I cut it down another degree for it to kick it back on. Because one additional thing I did um, that the salty guy did, he put a, uh, a piece of the Reflectix over this since they never used this vent. And, and I really don't either. I didn't do that at first and tried it. Um, and so I, now I put a piece on there and, and did did that as well so uh, negligible difference it may help better with cooling but sound wise it didn't really it didn't really make a difference but uh, with cooling it may I will say um, you know I didn't put like a, a meter or anything on the, the cooling on the vents or anything but it definitely seems like a, a, uh, a pretty good difference in the, the cooling I mean, it cut off pretty fast. Now it's a it's a fairly cloudy day out there. We've got the remnants of a tropical storm and uh, then the hurricane coming. But um, so far, cooling wise, it I would say it definitely made a difference. It was pretty warm in here, and it didn't take it long at all to get it cooled back down. So so about a 20, 20 to twenty three dollar investment between the Reflectix and the tape, you know. And I've got as you can see. I've got a ton of the Reflectix left over, so I could potentially use that for some some window shades to help if I'm going to be gone or when the camper's stored, you know. So, you know, a 20-23 overall investment, but as far as 
just what was included there, you know, maybe maybe five, ten bucks or something. Uh, but you are going to have to spend. I, you had to get that big roll unless you can find it somewhere cheaper. That's all Lowe's had, but definitely worth it. The wacko vent cover thing that I, I've seen I've seen people talk about. It's like 180 bucks, 200 dollars, something like that. And it's supposed to work very well too. If you did this and that combined, then I think you would really notice a difference. But I, I'm a little worried about that thing changing the changing the flow. You know, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I would worry about how that affects the unit itself. Whereas this was really just insulating. It didn't change anything about the unit really. Really more or less just insulated it. Um, and then added the one cover uh, in there but it's designed to be closed and that blocked off anyway. So uh, you know, we didn't really change how it operates. So, I, you know, all in all, pretty good. I turned the TV on. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a noticeable difference. I can definitely have the TV and the, the surround speakers or whatever lower, not significantly lower, but definitely lower, which any amount of lower is, is nice. I can't... Um, I can't, like the guy that did it originally, I can't say that now I can sit here and watch TV and not change the volume between when the AC's on and AC's off, but there is a difference. So is it worth it? Yeah, I, I would say, I would say this is worth it.